you guys have this knack for doing that. And you're standing with no one within 10 feet of you, and he threw the ball right to you. How'd that happen? You just happen to be, like, sometimes in the right place, and football guys bless you. you know? <laughs> <laughs> and I, I look back, and the ball was coming right towards me, so I took it and did what I needed to do. You had two other guys um, get balls thrown right to them, and they dropped them, including one that was would have been a pick six at the end of the first half. Um, is there any, when, when it's coming at you like that, is there any tension, like, make sure you catch it? You know, uh, in practice, we work on ball drills. We work on, you know, spinning around, getting your eyes back on the ball. I mean, those guys, I know they're eating themselves up right now, eating themselves up right now because they dropped those two balls, left those, that I, as we would say, money on the field. We leave money out there on the field. How much fun are you guys having? Right now, we're hot. We're, I feel like, not, as I say, we're a hot team. We're, we work hard, head down, and just try to play one game at a time. Do you get the sense that, you know, being one of these schools from Louisiana that's not LSU, that, that you get out on the field with people and, and they're not certain that you guys are all you're cracked up to be, maybe they think you haven't played anybody, and then you get into a game and it's like a football game? Um, Louisiana Tech, I think, in our locker room, we pride ourselves on being like, Coming to the bigger schools and being a blue collar football team, just people, like hard working guys, just just trying to be the underdog. We thrive on underdog, just trying to invade stadiums. That's how we look at it, and just playing our side every every game. How impressed are you by going to two BCS school home fields in a row? And essentially, I mean, today the, the final score was close, and it could have been really interesting at the end. But you know, you blew them out for the better part of the game after the. You know, they had a good start, and then you guys kind of dominated, scored 34 points in a row, and you did the same thing last week at Illinois. How impressed by, are you guys by that? We just, like Coach Dykes always says, expect to win. And with the storm, they came out, we uh, we took a few to the face, and we just had to weather the storm. We came back on defense, had some stops, and it, it is like we, we, we expect to be in that position because if we look at it any other way, we might not be, you know. We could be down, or we could stay down. So we just always trying to win, always fighting for that, you know, until the end get game's over with. Do you feel like you guys are unstoppable? I wouldn't, I wouldn't say unstoppable. I feel like unstoppable is a really, you know, <laughs> a strong <laughs> term to move. But we are. I feel like we are a, a good team. And, I mean, you know, guys who play us, I hope they don't keep looking down on us as, as the loser team. We were supposed to win this game, I guess. We were, Pick to win it, but still, we just got to keep fighting, keep keep working. When the poll comes out, if you guys are in it, what would that mean to you guys? I know for me and everybody in the locker room, that would be some amazing just to be a ranked team because we, Louisiana Tech, has fought for being a ranked team, being being the top 25, being and stuff like that. So that would mean us, but they wouldn't stop us from working hard or. Striving to do better. You wouldn't let it go to your head and make it feel like you've already arrived? I don't think that's arriving, being top 25. I think I think winning bowl games, winning going undefeated would be the best way to do that. You know, be to arrive, to make it, you know. What is it about on the, playing on the road that you guys thrive so well in? I just think, it was just, Coach Dykes has this, been saying in the locker room, it's, it's burn the ships. There's no way, there's no retreat, there's nothing we can do right now. We, we no way home. We we came here to win, and we shouldn't look any other way. We want to expect to win. So when we go into stadiums and always the away games, we just thrive off playing in that big environment. A lot of guys look forward to playing in those big stadiums, the ACC, Big Ten environments. What, what, I mean, six hundred twenty-five yards against. What, what's the, maybe the one thing on defense you guys are trying to, to get corrected heading into next week? On defense, uh, we're out there a lot. We, we take a lot of type, a lot of shots to the face. So. We don't want to feel our offense is a fast offense, but we still have the weather storm and just we want to, we want to get better in all areas, just be a well-rounded defense. So there is no flaws. You know, everybody's trying to work on your game, work on work on no holes, have no having no holes in your game. So that's what we're trying to do as a D. Is one of your big problems for your defense the offense having all those one-minute touchdown drives? I think the the one-minute touchdown drives. We love we love our offense putting up points. It just it just sucks the wind out of the other team. It just takes the life out of them. I feel like the, just having them go down the field and just drive, 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 but then big play. That just and then we, 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 we should be able to step up and make those plays, you know. So 
as a defensive player, you want to have the opportunity to get out there and make those plays. Because I guess the one thing people look at you guys and say, like, you give up 600 yards a day, you're giving up 30, it's about your average today, 38 points a game. That's a lot of points. That's a lot of pressure to put on your offense, but it seems like they always come through for you. Uh, the, the bend but don't break. You know, our defense, we, we find ourselves in a lot of tough situations in the game, a lot of dog fights. But still, we just got to keep fighting. Anything else? All right. Thanks, guys.